and welcome to another video. I'm here at the Wisconsin farm and I uh, just finished up planting my first field in canola and now I'm going to take this uh, tractor the 8530 out and uh, going to start um, start testing out the manure spreading and see uh, just probably test out a small area and uh, see how that goes since the nitrogen content seems to be low in the field I just planted. And uh, I just purchased this tractor, uh, so I've got it set up with GPS and everything. Um, not that I think I'll be using that for manure spreading, um, but this is just going to be my probably one of my all all-purpose tractors. Um, I have the, the 8R uh, 310 currently hooked to the planter. I think that'll be my planting setup, and this will just be the all all-around uh, utility tractor and probably do some planting as well eventually. And I just love how this <laughs> I love how this thing sounds. Just an awesome uh, awesome machine. And make sure okay yeah we gotta attach that. That's PTO. I guess. Oh. Hold to attach hoses. <laughs> Something it says hold to attach hoses, but there's nothing. Maybe it's a keyboard command. I'm not sure. Learning as I go with some of these mods that are about you know manually hooking up equipment and everything, so we'll see if this one works or not. But uh, yeah, let's head over, head over to the manure uh, pit spot, and I've got my uh, Volvo excavator over there waiting. really short trip that's kind of like the uh, home base at the moment just getting started here brand new uh, brand new farm and of course like I said this field right here that I'm pulling in on the right just finished planting with the 8R all canola for now uh, I don't know what the other fields are going to be yet um, just to show you what I'm talking about this is the nitrogen content of the field currently um, just did some soil sampling earlier and, you know, determine the soil types and everything. Uh, and, you know, it's the, uh, this is everything I planted, the yellow, uh, as opposed to the purple. So, uh, use the GPS system to do the straight back and forth lines, um, that just did finish doing the outline a little bit ago. So, yeah, now we're ready to, uh, do a little bit of fertilizing and hopefully bring up that nitrogen some. And I don't think this is the biggest manure spreader I, that is available for purchase, but I, I kind of liked the look of this one. I also just wanted to see how effective it would be and uh, we'll see uh, if I need a bigger one or not. to do the turning around now uh, while I'm unloaded <laughs> and also I need to figure out a good position to be in uh, so it's easy for the, the load with the excavator here that might be it okay oops <laughs> always make that mistake Ok, 
Okay, just gotta climb the hoe here and get to work. Just gotta remember all the controls. Hydraulics on this thing are, s are so slow, I'm almost like, yeah, I need to figure out if there's a way to turn that up or not. I'm gonna probably don't even have to move, look at this. Not the most realistic thing, but uh. oh, it's right there. Okay, got a full load there. Ideally, I don't want to be treading, tracking back and forth. Not hard to gauge. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Damn, it's been a while since I've operated this. Hopefully that's going in. Now you get the steam rising up, that's somewhat accurate, right? <laughs> okay, yeah, it looks like it went in. That's good. Alright. <laughs> just now it's uh, just a lot of buckets. That's uh, it'll be practice. Yeah, I can, I can probably stay right here. And just Giving me a, <laughs> give me some kind of warning. What's that mean? And that must not have gone in. Oh, it looks like it did. Yeah, it was, it was on the edge, probably.
Okay. Uh, so probably one or two more buckets. Not taking as long as I thought. I think those will be the last bucket here. Alrighty. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Okay. Right on. Looks like we're pretty full in the spreader. And I'm just going to... Yeah, 93%, not too bad. And we've got our map here now. And, okay, I see. I'm just gonna test out spreading on uh, areas I haven't planted yet, uh, just to see how that goes. field over there. Definitely a heavy load. Wow, and they're spinning out. <laughs> I need to do something about the, uh, the mod uh, that makes equipment uh, lose traction. It's supposed to be realistic, but this is a little excessive. And we're going to keep it on the automatic rate. Oh, unfold it. Huh, I don't see a command for unfolding it. Interesting. has to do, to do with the hoses that hold to attach hoses. <laughs> There's no command. Oops. <laughs>
Huh, okay. Well, I'm gonna have to probably restart and deactivate that mod because something's not working right. See we can okay hoses are attached now so I just had to restart the game and deactivate the uh, manual attach mod and now we can see if the Norse better will work now okay I'm gonna looks like to have this map loaded okay I'll unfold. Oh, okay. So it just opens that door. And speed is set. I'm just gonna, yeah, automatic rate. Okay. <laughs> this tractor is struggling in this field. Uh, <laughs> I've got a mod that supposedly makes, uh, you know, Equipment struggle if the field is, you know, in wet or a certain condition, but this field doesn't look that wet. I mean, it looks dark, but um, I don't know. It just occasionally gets a little strange. Okay, well, it looks like I'm making a difference, but it's not in the green, so. <laughs> That's the same command. Huh. Well, that looks interesting. So it's saying it wants it wants to leave it there. No, this is a bit excessive. Oh, I don't know. It's interesting. Yeah, I'll just leave it on auto automatic then for now. Stamp on that area. just occurred to me too, I wonder if GPS will work for the Menor Spreader. I've never tried that before.
Just trying something out here. Okay, so we've got a line. Okay, so it will work. Is this going to be probably not ideal? Probably not going to be ideal for what I'm trying to do. It's better to just spread it manually, but by Leave it on, it would be more f efficient if it was a bigger field. Interesting, okay. got the lunar spreader working so that's exciting although I thought it was going to make a bit more of a difference in the nitrogen but so it's about so that's about almost half a load and that's all yeah I think <laughs> that's gonna be wow so that's that was a half a load in just that small little area. So doing doing that entire field, that's going to be quite a lot. Maybe I'll explore uh, liquid nitrogen. Uh, play with that for a bit. What happens if I change the rate? Oh, maybe I just detected. Weird. If I go over here a little bit, what I was saying. Huh. That's weird. Yeah, that's just interesting. Okay, now it's picking it up. What if I try and go all the way? I don't know why it's turning red. I guess it's an excessive amount of application rate. I 
this out. Need to get back in here and do more soil samples just to fill in the picture there. Alrighty. All done. Yeah, I think I'll do, I think I will do liquid spraying nitrogen for the bigger field and see how that goes uh, before I do 100 trips with the manure spreading. Uh, I'm going to leave this on cruise control for a second. Yeah, that was <laughs> not that much, not that much coverage. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it does spread a pretty far wide track, so... That would just, yeah, that would probably be, probably be about 10 loads, something like that. I'll, I'll test out liquid nitrogen to see how long that would stretch it. Nitrogen's definitely low, that's for sure. I get it right in that sweet spot. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I think I'll just end the video here. Just wanted to test out manure spreading, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.